Hello once again, model car builders. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Show and Tell. So I have to give a little bit of a backstory here onto these show and tell videos. So in 2019, my father sadly passed away. And uh, over time, I've ended up inheriting his collection of model cars, as well as having my own. So what I want to do in this video and in several others is to showcase my, fa my late father's model cars. And these go all the way back from like the early 70s up until around 2018. So one of the cars we're going to take a look at today is the 1904 Dirac. Now this model came out by Airfix in 1956 following the 1953 movie called Genevieve, which was a British comedy film. So we can take a look at the Airfix, how it originally came out. It wasn't in a box, it was in a bag just like this. But I do believe that when my dad bought the model kit, he bought it in the box, which looked like this. Now that last box was from 1975. So without further ado, let's go down to our turntable and take a look at how my dad built the 1904 Dirac. Here we have the 1904 Dirac from Airfix. This is a 132nd scale kit as marked on the box. However, in reality, this is a 125th scale kit because the figure is way too big for 32nd scale. Now this model kit came out in 1956 originally and was based on the 1953 movie Genevieve where a couple take a Dirac all the way across England. The film shows you actually how to start and run the Dirac as well as drive it which is really cool. One thing that's interesting about this is the nice bowler cap. I do like that considering I have my own. But another thing is a little bit of an error on uh, air fixes part and what we have here is tires that are sitting off at angles and everything like that and what I've come to realize is that the axle length is actually just a little bit too long what should happen is these caps hold the wheels in place and the axle pin that the wheel is sitting on should actually be shortened by a few millimeters which can be uh, trialed and errored with some sandpaper. Again, my dad did some really nice work. Now back in the day, people didn't really paint models that much because everything was brush painted. So what my dad did was brush painted the fenders and the wooden spokes, the figures, the white tires, and a bunch of the brass work because this is all molded in red. But he kept the red plastic and that's what a lot of the builders back then did. Now the model kit is very basic. It does not feature an opening hood, so you don't get to see a little one-cylinder Dirac motor. But underneath it does have some nice detail in there. You can see, of course, the four leaf springs. Now one thing, over time, you can see the actual glue melt in here and discoloration, which painting would have, uh, you know, stopped that from happening. Well, not really stopping the glue discoloring, but you wouldn't see it. There is a stamp in here. It says Airfix Limited 1975. So this is the later edition. And as I was looking up the model for the review of this, it did say that the figure was added in 1975. Now, unfortunately, this model kit has not been re-released since 1975. So if anyone from Airfix is watching this, it would be nice to get another one. And then we can correct that wheel problem in there. But as you can see, these uh, wheels are really quite sloppy on here and that's not my dad's fault but again that little axle pin just needs to be scraped down just enough so that the cap actually supports the wheel on the hub. Now just for a little further proof to show that this is 125th scale here is a 125th scale figure that I'm dropping into the scene and as you can tell the driver would basically be the right height if he was standing up to match the size of this figure that I dropped in. So if you've built this model kit in the past and enjoyed it or are out on the hunt for one, let us know how that's going. How did you enjoy the model kit? And if you want, share pictures over on our Facebook page. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at our 1904 Dirac. I guess it is now my model. And one thing that I will say that is kind of weird in my mind is that here I am with all my dad's model kits 
and I have to repair a bunch of them and some of them are broken maybe beyond repair with missing parts and all. I'll see how many I can actually get back into service. There's not many that are broken, but there's like little things like uh, mirrors that are mounted on the spare tires and things like that that disappeared over time. But one thing that just sticks in my the back of my mind is when I was a kid and I was looking at my dad's models, my dad would come in and say, hey, who said you could take those out, you know, and look at them. And while I'm going through building these things, I just have it in my mind that my dad's going to enter in, you know, our room or whatever, where I'm fixing these up. And he's going to say, hey, who said that you could take those out? <laughs> you know, that's one of the weird feelings I'm getting with this. But at any rate, yeah, I sure hope you enjoyed the Dirac model. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share to this channel. And if you want to support me in my work of bringing you all these great unboxings and build videos and everything else, don't forget to click that join button down below. And for as little as I do believe it's three dollars a month, you can help me to produce more and more of these great videos. Maybe get something like a light ring, which would get rid of this shadow down here and other great, amazing things. So until next time, everybody, Happy model building, and don't forget to share your collection with all of us on your YouTube channel.